Hello everyone, hi, my name is Harish Manso. So this is uh, just another trick and tips on how to work with um, Cloudworks um, uh, for Revit. So let's go and start with the template, architecture te architectural template. So what you're looking at right now is the template, uh, we go straight away to the Cloudworks. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to share is basically on how to work with this align to model tools. Alright, so when we open an LGS file, whether it's, uh, let's say for example, it's a non-geo-reference uh, point cloud, so it could be floating anywhere in um, Revit. So as you can see here, alright, so you will notice that uh, the level, the default level is actually here. So the first uh, trick and tip that I would like to share is actually how to make use of this align to model to bring up uh, this level of the point cloud to the default levels in Revit. So to do that, uh, the first thing that we need to find out is actually what is the lowest level that you want to decide or uh, which is the level that you want to use. So to do that, I go straight away to point pick on any of the lowest point, pick on that, you will have this figure. So what you need is actually just copy this. Just control C, copy that. You don't have to create new level and whatsoever. So I can just go back to front, all right? So we'll bring it up by that figure. So to do that, I click on this align to model, just click on yes, all right? And just key in, just paste the figure here. Right, and then you will notice that the moment when I click here, it'll move up by this number. So I click up, there you go. So you click apply and close. So you'll notice that there uh, it's actually aligned to that level. So this is basically for a non georeference um, point cloud and you want to do some, uh, just a simple tweak uh, uh, for scan to beam process. So um, level is done. Uh, another thing that I would like to actually share is when you use this align to model, uh, you might want to try to test try and error you bring up by 10 pixel then bring it down bring it back down uh, and then just just go and click s and y right and just to do some alignment so you click apply click close and uh, you go straight away to level one pick on level one so i go and close this 3d view Right, so this is the orientation of it. So let's say, for example, you have a very weird orientation, you want to make it zero and 90 degrees. So let me just use this as a reference. So what I can do is I can create one reference plane. I type RP in Revit, bring that, and I just, I want to, I want this edge of this wall to move to here and create that 90 degrees uh, angle. So to do that, I just go again, click on this align to model tools. Right, so this is why you have to test. Uh, you might want to click up and down X and Y because uh, pro probably there's a bug in it. But uh, I'm going to use this move X and Y. Right? Click on that. So you again, you can pick directly on the point cloud. So this is visual alignment. So you click on that, you will have that marking. So we'll move. This is the first point, specify point to move. If you don't know where to click, you can focus on the top left. It'll give you the instruction. Uh, uh, sorry, you, you you focus on the bottom left. It'll give you the instruction what you need to do. Then, so we've done the first point. Then we go and click the second point. So where you want to move it. So you notice that this is basically how you move the thing. Now, why do we use this? It is because uh, unlike RCP, uh, our LGS file uh, contains, I think, it's more data and all. So the only way for you to move them is by using this. So once you have this, what I can do is I click apply again, click close. Now, if you want to rotate them, right? So you can also use back the tool, right? And then you can click this rotation, click on the rotate, pick on that edge. And let's say, for example, I would use uh, this corner here as well. Zoom as much as you can, pick on that. And it will, give, it will ask you to specify new endpoint to rotate uh, from the baseline. So I'm going to specify to rotate it using this reference. Pick on that. So you will notice that it automatically uh, rotate that for you. So instead of you forcing the Revit to work, uh, to, to, to follow the point cloud orientation, you can actually uh, force or edit the point cloud orientation to move within the Revit environment. So there you go. So you click apply, click close. Now you have a data that is actually uh, based on certain reference. Okay, so right, that is basically on how to work with uh, uh, Align to Model Tools in Cloudworks 2020 for Revit. Thank you very much.